little tour to France this way. See what it's like. Now this lake is pretty long, this Francis Lake. It's pretty big lake. Boom. Fishermen. He is steep. The fall colors are changing. for supper tonight. Where are we going to park? Right here generator because it's cool. I'm going to have the heater going. The leaves are turning up here. We're just on the side of the road. We're on the... Well, we stopped up here at a little... Look out on this highway. Finlinson Lake. Oh, we're up fairly high here. We got lots of information. Let's see caribou if you got good binoculars. Big old mountains over there. It's a nice little lake.
I just check in the freezer and it doesn't seem like it's kicking on. That's power and battery, so it didn't seem like you can tell that. It's not like it's freezing? Well, it's... I don't know if you can feel it now, but it should kick on from the open lid. Well, there's some breakfast. Breakfast by the river. Mm. Absolutely awesome. That's not bad. It's Ross River fuel here, so it take on a little bit, a little bit of gas or generator. for 40 kilometers an hour so we are going to tackle it This is the road that we were following and this is the side of the mountain. The road is right there. Some places we're close. It's straight down. Ooh, sends chills up your spine. Yeah. That is quite a... I've been running here. We're running in first and second gear. That's all we can get out of her climbing. It's a little diesel. Makes, she work. Makes her work. But gorgeous country. And fall colors are coming on. We had some heavy frost five days ago up here in the Yukon. So enjoy the colors.
rough and a little narrow some places, but we got us down to a nice little lake here. I think we're going to spend the night here. Just a little quieter. But yeah, trees on the side of the road. Actually got quite a few scrapes, scratches, some pretty good scratches. All the way down the side. <laughs> oh. That's okay. Little dust, no mud yet, but hopefully stays dry through here uh, tomorrow. We got just about 165 kilometers to go yet on this 224 kilometer stretch, so we'll see what's on down the journey. It'll be a little cool tonight, so we'll be running some generator and a little heater here. But did cloud in. There's a little blue sky way up there, but mostly looking like it's going to shower coming in from that way. So, talk with you all later. Just about ready. I have that coffee. disappear. Awesome. On the road again this morning. See if we can make it another 150 kilometers today.
Well, my teeth are just about rattled out. But uh, the, the view, the colors. Guys parked all along the road here in little pullouts. Moose hunting, they're all glassing through the through the colors down there. Beautiful colors. We're still on Highway 6. Yeah, the videos a couple days ago, yeah, we're still on Highway 6. We got uh, we had 200 and 50 plus kilometers to go and we uh, started yesterday, came in about 60 kilometers and camped and uh, it's already seven o'clock at night and we're just, uh, we're still not out the other end. So I guess that's uh, what the canal road uh, cuts across from Ross River out to Teslin. It is quite a road. You spend more time in second gear than you do in fourth. But, quite the country. Well, there's some, some old relics that were left behind by the army and uh, um, building the, through on the Alaska Highway. We're just on the outskirts here and there's some old stuff so this is this is where we just came back through approximately eight hours of driving 226 kilometers not recommended for towing uh, a big trailer at all or bigger motorhomes uh, not recommended um, yeah yeah and through the Lappy River too, and the South Canal Road number six. So we're at the south end of it. So we officially made it through. So yeah, if you uh, watch videos and uh, you want to look at coming, if you've got a small camper, uh, create a steep banks or anything like that there's some very places where the mountain slid and they've dozed it off and uh, it's kind of cracked and you're driving uneven a little bit some spots and you get six seven hundred feet down oh yeah makes your hair stand up the odd place but well, we spend like I said a lot of time in uh, we got a six-speed transmission I spend a lot of time in second gear third gear sometimes fourth but mostly third approximately 40 kilometers an hour and that's it so, so there's some more uh, some old relics here that made the journey but didn't make the journey all the way home and there's a couple more over there but we hope you guys enjoy the videos you know it's a little hard to take videos when you're trying to keep both hands on the wheel and one hand for the gear shift and you only got two hands so did what I can, so I hope you enjoyed. Look, we have lines on the road. We're allowed to do 100 kilometers an hour. A beautiful lake here at Teslin. In the Yukon, beautiful evening. display Yukon Motel and Restaurant in Teslin, Yukon on Alaska Highway. <laughs> 